News. Beth Germano is live in Nashua, New Hampshire tonight with more on Biden's surprise move. Beth? Well, we're at a polling place in Nashua, New Hampshire, where the voting is said to be steady. But former Vice President Joe Biden decided to cut his losses in the Granite State. And what his campaign says was a last-minute decision to head to South Carolina and try to change the momentum in his campaign. All this from the candidate who was the perceived front-runner. Final handshakes in New Hampshire for former Vice President Joe Biden because it's time to move on and keep his campaign going in an abrupt change of plans. We got a lot of good friends here in New Hampshire, but this race isn't over until you got a significant portion of the electorate hadn't voted yet. Meaning a more diverse electorate, including blacks and Latinos, awaits in Nevada and South Carolina, where he needs to shore up his support. He's bound for those states today before his New Hampshire primary party, which he admits wouldn't have been that celebratory. We're still mildly hopeful here in New Hampshire, and we'll see what happens. Undeterred by his poor showing in New Hampshire, supporter Judy Lanza was canvassing for every last vote for Biden, even if he already had one foot out of the state. He's a smart man, and he knows what he needs to do to become our next president. Supporters say they won't take personally his hasty departure. People forget the popular vote is great, but it's the election. College that counts. So, you know, I think it's about strategy. Which Biden insists is simple. He still has electability. The Democratic nominee not only has to be able to beat Trump, but has to be able to bring along a Democratic Senate. Back at this polling location in Nashua, New Hampshire, they say 2,283 voters have cast their ballots. They say that's actually a little bit slower than expected. As for Vice President Joe Biden, he'll attend a launch party in South Carolina tonight. His sister will take his place here in Nashua, New Hampshire. The party will go on, though, without the guest of honor. He will come in via live stream. Reporting live from Nashua, New Hampshire, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. It's an interesting decision, Beth. Thank you.